friends! Welcome back to another episode of Tic Tac Tot Story Time. My name is Steffi. How are you? I hope you are doing fine wherever you are. In today's book, we are going to read and learn about a lot of differences in families and also things that are associated with them. Are you curious to find out what they are? Then, let's read the great big book of families. Please enjoy the story. The Great Big Book of Families Written by Mary Hoffman and illustrated by Ross Asquith Once upon a time, most families in books look like this. One daddy, one mommy, one little boy, one little girl, one dog, and one cat. But in real life, families come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. In this book are a lot of families living in different ways. Perhaps there's one that looks like yours. Families Lots of children live with their mommy and daddy. But lots of others live with just their daddy or just their mommy. Some live with their grandma and grandpa. Some children have two mommies or two daddies. And some are adopted or fostered. Who's in your family? Some people have lots of brothers and sisters, and uncles, and aunties, and cousins, and grandmas, and grandpas, and even great-grandmas and great-grandpas. But some people have really small families. You can be a family with just two people. Homes People live in all sorts of homes. Some small families live in big houses, and some big families live in tiny flats, and some people can't find anywhere to live. School Most children go to school, but some are taught at home, and some just won't go to school but i've been to school already i went yesterday others are too young to go to school jobs in some families everyone has a job in others only one person goes out to work some parents work from home and some can't get a job at all. Holidays Some families go on exotic holidays and some stay closer to home. Some visit families in other countries. You don't need to pack everything and others go on day trips. Not all families can afford a holiday but most people get some time off from work. Even a weekend at home can be a little holiday. Food Some moms or dads are great cooks. Others prefer to buy ready-made meals. Most families get their food from shops or markets. But some people grow their own. Clothes Some children get new clothes. Others have hand-me-downs. Or their clothes come from charity shops. Are you an elf? No, a sock. Some families dress up for special occasions. But some like to wear jeans all the time. 
and some dress any way they please. Pets. Some people believe their pets are members of their family, and some pets think they are very important family members. Some people even look like their pets. Some families can't have pets, but it doesn't stop them dreaming. And there are ways that every family can have a pet of some sort. Celebrations, birthdays are fun, but some families make more fuss about them than others. And then there is Christmas, Diwali, Eid, Hanukkah, weddings, christenings, bar and bat nit fuss, Chinese New Year. Whatever you celebrate in your family, there are usually some special traditions. What are we celebrating? Everything! Transport Some families walk everywhere To the shops, to school, to the doctor Others get about in big cars Or on bicycles Or riding something else yeah. Feelings In some families Everyone shares their feelings. Other people are more shy, or perhaps they just like to keep their feelings to themselves. Sometimes, not everyone in the family feels the same way about things, and feelings can change quickly. Have you ever tried to make a family tree? Sometimes you don't have to go back far to find bits of family who have come from other countries. There's grandpa and grandma from that side, there's Uncle Ben, Uncle Jim, my dad, my cousin Thomas, cousin May, and brother Joe. There are also a grandpa and granny from mom's side, that's my mom and my stepdad. That's me and my half-sister, Sasha. There are also my pets, Tom and Mok, and their little kittens. And if your mom or dad lives with a new partner, you might have to make a whole new set of branches. Soft families can be big, small, happy, sad, rich, poor, loud, quiet, cross, good-tempered, worried, or happy-go-lucky. My families are all of these things some of the time. What's yours like today? That's the end of the story. From this story, we can learn there are as many types of families as colors of the rainbow. My reading friends, what's your favorite part from this book about family? You can send your answer to our email in the description box below. Also support us by giving us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for other special stories from me. See you in the other story.